Do you plan on getting breasts? Two, please. Do you plan on undergoing gender reassignment surgery? I'm gonna have to get back to you on that one. Around this time last year, I called the smart and soulful first season of Transparent the best new show on TV. Well, almost a year later, season two of the Jill Soloway created and now Emmy-winning series is set to debut on December 11th with 10 new episodes on Amazon. And I'm just gonna get right to the heart of this. Christmas has come early for fans of great TV, as the best series around is better than before and breaking even more barriers. Even more ambitious, intelligent, nuanced, and truly sophisticated in its rendering of people and families, especially the obviously self-destructive and self-absorbed Pfefferman clan, season two of Transparency reaches across time and space to the horrors of history while keeping the foibles and flaws of today firmly in place. A magnificent scope that has so many risks for its creator and the show's producers, and yet bounds over all of them. I want to come by. I want to see Mom. Don't you dare you let that woman get off this planet without knowing about this. Holding on to the melancholy indie aesthetic that defined its first season, there is something sometimes so very sad about the half-hour show that to label the breakout series for the streaming service a comedy seems to miss the point. But then the sheer wit of the writing and the acting catches you by surprise and you are laughing, sometimes even despite yourself. Now I don't want to give much away because this is a show you have to watch, either in a binge this weekend or lovingly over the holidays. Now, I will tell you, however, because the first episode has been online for Amazon Prime members for over a week now, that the second season starts with a Palm Springs wedding, a secret revealed, and then goes to hell right after that, in the best way for viewers and the worst way for the Pfeffermans, led by Emmy Award winner Jeffrey Tambor's Mora, who proves to be no saint and has more than a few reminders as she gets deeper into her transgender world that you can leave a life behind, but it's constantly consequences don't disappear, no matter how much you want them to. With a cameo by Soloway herself, the return of Carrie Brownstein, appearances by singer Peaches and the Indigo Girls, plus the poignant additions of Sherry Jones, Angelica Houston, Casuals Michaela Watkins, who appeared in Soloway's first short film and popped up in another role in season one, and a startling Emily Robinson, the new season examines, to put it unartfully, how discrimination comes in many forms, genders, and eras. And, unlike my ham-handed description, it does it in a so very artful way. As for the Pfeffermans themselves, well, Tamborn is of course great. But Amy Landecker, Jay Duplass, and Gabby Hoffman are amazing as Mora's children, grappling with their parents' transition and their individual sense of what a family is, expanding, and then in some case, contracting disastrously. As for Judith Light as Mother Shelley, well, all I can say is she has gone from strength to strength as one season has moved to another. When the first season of Transparent debuted on September 26 last year, it was to use that old blues expression, like lightning in a bottle. Well, lightning has struck twice, and season two, it's simply not to be missed. I'm Dominic Patton for Deadline Hollywood.